Florida faces various geographical challenges, primarily stemming from its rich biodiversity, notably seen in the expansive wetlands of the Everglades. Environmental management, particularly concerning the Everglades, has played a crucial role in shaping Florida's history and influencing its diverse economy, including the significant agricultural sector. However, this ecological diversity also exposes the state to threats like invasive species and industrial pollution. Today, we'll analyze one of the biggest geographical issues that Florida encounters. Given its low elevation, the state is often referred to as ground zero for climate change impacts in the United States. The looming global threat of climate change is particularly concerning due to Florida's extensive low elevation coastline, making sea level rise a significant risk for coastal ecosystems. Projections estimate a three-foot rise by 2100, posing challenges such as flooding and profound changes in coastal habitats. Furthermore, Florida's geographical landscape is expected to undergo transformation, becoming increasingly tropical as the frost line shifts northward. Despite efforts by government agencies and conservation organizations, the limitations of current data models hinder effective addressing of these issues. As we continue exploring these challenges, please subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell. Man-made increases in atmospheric carbon dioxide are contributing to the adverse effects of climate change in Florida. The state is grappling with heightened flooding from rising sea levels, and concerns persist about the potential for more frequent and intense hurricanes. Despite a growing awareness of climate change among Floridians, the state remains politically divided. As of March 2023, Approximately two-thirds of residents acknowledge anthropogenic climate change, marking an increase from 55% in April 2020. While certain Florida communities are taking steps toward climate change mitigation, statewide initiatives face obstacles due to the politicization of the issue in the United States. Focus has shifted towards resilience rather than comprehensive mitigation and adaptation efforts. Nonetheless, it's not just climate change that is casting a shade on the Sunshine State. The natural gas drilling industry, a significant player in Florida, poses environmental concerns. Fracking wells require substantial amounts of fresh water, leading to increased salinity and the introduction of potentially toxic frac fluid chemicals. Proper treatment and disposal of resulting waste, including potential contamination risks to underground aquifers and freshwater sources, present critical challenges for the state. Florida has an already sensitive relationship with water, given its proximity to the ocean making it vulnerable to natural disasters like hurricanes and storms that threaten above-ground freshwater sources. The Sunilin Basin, situated beneath the state's high water table, contains fossil fuel-rich rock, attracting drillers. However, hasty drilling in this area poses a significant risk of contaminating a crucial freshwater source. The aquatic ecosystems of Florida face peril from various hydraulic disturbances, including ditching, draining, fragmentation, and water quality degradation. Human-altered hydrological patterns in the Everglades have led to a decline in ecosystem health, particularly impacting wading bird populations. Adding to the water-related challenges, Florida holds the distinction of having the highest concentration of sinkholes in the United States, exceeding 7,000 documented and numerous smaller ones. The risk is most pronounced in central Florida due to its limestone geology, with areas having thicker soil cover experiencing fewer occurrences. The state's porous limestone bedrock, vulnerable to disillusion by slightly acidic rainwater, facilitates sinkhole formation. Factors like heavy rainfall, fluctuating water levels, and human activities such as groundwater pumping can expedite the process, leading to the collapse and creation of sinkholes. Sinkholes can swallow homes, businesses, and infrastructure, causing millions of dollars in damage annually. They can disrupt drainage patterns, pollute groundwater with contaminants, and damage sensitive ecosystems like wetlands. Sudden collapses can pose threats to life and property, requiring vigilant monitoring and mitigation efforts. Sinkholes are a part of the state's natural disasters, but when discussing natural disasters in Florida, it's impossible to overlook hurricanes, which stand as a major threat to the state's geography. The Sunshine State sits squarely in the Hurricane Alley, experiencing an average of one hurricane and six named storms per year. The state has been directly hit by 10 major hurricanes, category three or higher since 2004, highlighting their regular occurrence. Climate change is projected to increase the intensity and frequency of stronger hurricanes, 
making Florida even more vulnerable to their destructive power. Hurricanes cause billions of dollars in property damage, with entire communities sometimes flattened by powerful winds and storm surge. The 2022 Hurricane Ian alone caused an estimated $50 billion in losses, power outages, flooding, and debris block roads, cripple communication networks, and disrupt essential services leading communities vulnerable and recovery efforts challenging. The tourism industry, a major economic driver, suffers significant losses due to cancellations and damage. Additionally, businesses struggle to operate during and after storms, impacting jobs and livelihoods. Storm surge inundates coastal ecosystems, damages sensitive habitats, and disrupts delicate ecological balances. Heavy rainfall leads to freshwater flooding, impacting water quality and wildlife. Florida has invested in hurricane-resistant building codes, evacuation plans, and storm surge barriers. With a booming population, the Sunshine State generates over 25 million tons of waste annually. Landfills are reaching capacity, and finding new sites faces opposition and environmental concerns. Despite efforts, Florida's recycling rate remains below the national average, with many valuable materials ending up in landfills. Plastic pollution is a particular concern, impacting beaches, wildlife, and the tourism industry. A significant portion of waste comes from uneaten food, contributing to greenhouse gas emissions and resource depletion, agricultural runoff, fertilizer use, and wastewater treatment challenges lead to excess nutrients in waterways, causing harmful algal balloons that deplete oxygen, kill fish, and damage ecosystems. Tiny plastic fragments pollute water bodies, harming marine life and potentially entering the food chain. Improper disposal of industrial waste can contaminate soil and water, posing health risks and environmental damage. Contaminated water and air can cause respiratory problems, skin irritation, and other health issues. Pollution harms diverse habitats, affecting fish populations, coral reefs, and other vital ecosystems. Tourists flock to Florida for its natural beauty, but polluted beaches and waterways can deter visitors and hurt the economy. Florida's population is expected to double from 2006 to 2060, potentially leading to the development of 7 million additional acres by 2060. This growth poses a threat to the state's biodiversity as large. Intact habitats fragment into smaller, less sustainable areas, impacting plants and wildlife. Fragmentation also fuels the proliferation of invasive species, making Florida a global hotspot. The state harbors more invasive amphibians and reptiles than any other place worldwide. Of the 1,300 non-native plant species in Florida, 10% are considered invasive. Notably, Brazilian pepper covers 703,500 acres, creating single-species environments. Melaleuca invades 488,800 acres in South Florida, spreading at an alarming rate of 50 acres per day. And Australian pine covers 372,723 acres, releasing chemicals inhibiting native plant growth. Hydrilla is the most significant invasive aquatic plant species in the state. Aggressive biological, chemical, and mechanical management has reduced the effects of water hyacinth and water lettuce. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission monitors a diverse range of species, including 31 mammals, 196 birds, 48 reptiles, 4 amphibians, and 55 fish. While many species show stable or non-breeding populations, some, such as the cane toad, Gambian pouched rat, Nile monitor, and Burmese python have caused substantial disruptions in the delicate ecosystems, particularly in the tropical southern third of the state. Florida's fresh waters are host to 34 confirmed breeding species of exotic fish, a higher number than any other place on Earth. Since their accidental importation from South America into North America in the 1930s, the red imported fire ant population has increased its territorial range to include most of the southern United States, including Florida and have a painful sting. Florida is currently spending millions of dollars each year to control the ever-growing threat of invasive exotics. Habitat destruction is the issue most cited for the problems now facing Florida wildlife. Wildlife habitat has declined and even disappeared during the past 100 years as natural lands were converted to agriculture, rangelands, 
and expanding urban areas. The Florida panther is an endangered population of the cougar. There are about 230 individuals in the wild. The Center for Biological Diversity and others have called for a special protected area for the panther. Manatees are also dying at a much higher rate than their reproduction. In 1977, the federal government placed alligators on the endangered list. They were removed from the endangered list in 1987. During the mid-20th century, Florida lost more than 7 million acres of forest and herbaceous wetlands to development. In recent decades, Florida's massive population growth and booming tourism industry have disturbed and fragmented many natural areas across the state. Estimates based on current growth rates suggest Florida could lose an additional 7 million acres of rural and natural lands to urban areas within the next 50 years. Another threat to biodiversity is the dramatic alteration of natural fire regimes. Resulting from changes in land use patterns since the early 1900s, fire historically played a large role in shaping the landscape and natural community structure of Florida. From the frequently burned pine flatwoods and dry prairie to the infrequently burned hammocks and cypress swamps, Lightning is the main catalyst for natural fires, and Florida has the highest incidence of lightning strikes in the country. Fire suppression during the early part of the 20th century, however, caused fuels to build up to unnatural levels and led to losses of plant diversity and critical habitat for many wildlife species. Although prescribed burning is now a common management practice, liability issues associated with development and an increased human population severely restrict its use. The result is a loss of ecological integrity, a decline in plant and animal species, a change in soils, and an increased risk of catastrophic wildfires due to the accumulation of organic fuels. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's episode, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to share your thoughts on the video in the comments below.